Hey everyone, there's some deer right there, <laughs> right in the field across from my house. But to start this video, I just wanted to get something straight. I don't think Barnett is a junk brand. I really don't. I never have. What I think Barnett offers is something that a lot of us need, and that is a bow that will get the job done, that has some nice features at an affordable price. Now I appreciate all the comments I've had on my videos saying, hey, get a Raven. I can't afford a Raven, I can't. A lot of us can't. A lot of us are just hunters trying to do it at a good price. And that's where I think Barnett comes in. Was there some issues with this bow? Yes. But as you'll see in this video, Barnett customer service above and beyond guys above and beyond i've talked to other bow brands hasn't been great barnett they actually contacted me when they contact you and make it right that's all you want something bad happened make it right so hope you guys enjoy the video hopefully i don't repeat myself too much just wanted to start the video off right away am i saying don't buy barnett no i'm not i'm saying hey something bad happened was i mad about it yeah, I was mad about it. They made it right. Awesome. Gonna stick with them. Let's keep moving on. Enjoy the video. Okay, guys. As you know, my Hyper Raptor, the string blew out on it there. Now, what I want to do is I kind of want to just film the getting it fixed, getting them to make it right. Um, I think, I think Barnett's a good brand. I've used Barnett for years. Like I said, my original crossbow was a Barnett. I love my Barnett crossbow. This one I'm unsure about, but that doesn't mean that it can't be a great crossbow. I want to see what their customer service is like. Do they treat people who are having problems? Well, we'll see, but I just wanted to do a short video of hopefully, you know, great customer service from Barnett making it right. We'll see. Okay, everyone, so it has been about four hours since I put some links up about the issues with the Hyper Raptor uh, on a few Facebook things. And Barnett has actually reached out to me, and I'm chatting with a customer service representative, if you heard that, right now. So they actually reached out to me on Facebook, and uh, I'll keep you informed of how this process goes. Okay, uh, 3.30 in the afternoon, just got off the phone with Jackie from Barnett. Uh, extremely nice, great customer service. They actually contacted me, sent me a message, says, hey, we want to get a hold of you. And they called me right away within 15, 20 minutes of saying, hey, we want to get a hold of you. They are sending me a replacement for the broken Hyper Raptor 410. Very excited about that, guys. I, I don't I like Barnett. I was so sad that this bow did this because Barnett's been, that's my brand. I, I kind of stick up for them. You know, guys like me, we don't have a lot of money to buy the expensive, expensive bows. And Barnett just seems like it's a good bow for a good price. And that's that's why I want to stick with them. So very excited to get this new one. Um, see if the problem's fixed. See if it was just a fluke thing with this one. And again, I'll keep you updated. It's supposed to come tomorrow. Uh, we'll open up the box, see if the box is in better shape coming directly from them. You know, we'll, we'll go through it all again, guys. And not only are they sending me a new one, they asked if I wanted the CCD or if I wanted to go to the RCD. And while some of you might think that's a step back, I did not like the cranking device. So I asked for the RCD. And right away, Jackie was like, okay, to make up for the cost difference, what can I get you? So they're also sending me some lighted knocked arrows, which was not an option when I got the CCD. So very, very excited, guys. We'll check it out tomorrow. Barnett, thank you for your great customer service. It's exactly what I want to see from a company that I'm getting my bows from. When there's a problem, make it right. You guys are doing it. I appreciate it. And we will get back at it tomorrow when we get the new one. She said she's going to try to get it on that UPS truck right away. So really excited, guys. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I just want to keep you guys informed of what is going on in case you're looking at getting one of these. What if it happens to you? Are you going to be without your bow for hunting season? 
Doesn't look like it. Looks like Barnett makes it right as quick as they can. Really, really great to see you guys. Okay, so it is 11.43 a.m. here at my house. The day after I talked to the Barnett customer service and looks like UPS just dropped off the replacement bow already. So very, very quick turnaround by Barnett. I'm gonna go check it out, show you guys everything again, open it up. And hopefully, you know, that cam issue's fixed on this one. Okay, guys, got my two boxes here. Let's open these up. I actually have to open these up real quick, and then I'm actually shipping my old Hyper Raptor back to them so they can inspect it, see what the problems were. And they want that as soon as possible, which some people might see as an inconvenience, but I see it as, hey, they want to figure out what the problem is and, you know, nip it as soon as they can, inspect it, see if that's a problem on any other ones before they send them out. So I'm gonna do my part, try to get that back to them as soon as I can. They did their part, got me a replacement bow within a day. So very, very excited. This one does not- One thing already that I like about getting this directly from Barnett is you'll notice that the bow isn't just in its case. It's in another box that is way more discreet. So very, very happy about that. Lancaster should maybe take some notes on that one. But So here we are. It's in, it's, on, it's in another box, protected. Then the driver and stuff doesn't know what you got going on. I'm going to pull this out here and show you some more. And that is what you want to see when you get your bow, guys. Look at how clean this is. Nice, clean, not beat up. And that was my first one. I mean, come on. Huge difference. Huge difference. This is what you want to see when you get your bow. You don't want to be all worried about how beat up it is. So let's break into this and see how it compares to the CCD version. guys got your same same packaging essentially got your arrows at the top here three hyperflight arrows everything's the same except this does not have the CCD which I think I will like a lot more it's just what I'm used to some of you guys might might want that I just don't I just don't love it. It creates more issues for me as a hunter to have it than to not have it. So, Get those arrows out. Guys, I just can't tell you enough how how sharp this thing is, guys. It is it is a sharp looking bow, and I do hope that this one does not have the problems. The last one had. So first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to look right at the problem area last time. And get it to focus. So you can definitely see there's more, more grease in there more lubrication Let's see if we can compare it to the old one Let's see if we see any differences here Hopefully that, that makes a difference. I, I don't know a ton about cams and stuff to say that I see a whole lot different, but I'm hoping it is different, guys. 
I'll get this put together all the way and we'll take it out and shoot it some more. All right, guys, I am out here again with my crossbows. I uh, have to sight them both back in. The one thing I noticed about my old one is one of the cable slides was on the wrong side of the stock. This is what I'm talking about here. When, when he put it back together, he put this plastic cable slide on the bottom. And what that actually does is it wears these because they ride on the top of this. So that was a simple fix with Barnett. It's just one bolt and you know, the head comes off of the stock. So I was able to fix that. So I put that on my old one here, my old game crusher. Still love this thing. But what I'm gonna do is sight this back in. So I'm starting at 10 yards. I'm a little off, but I'll adjust it and get this one going. And then I'll hop back onto getting the new Hyper Raptor 410 going for you guys. Still love the rope cocker. I'm gonna try cocking it with the new RCD device and see if I like that better than the CCD though, the crank thing. So right here you have the rope hold button that they're talking about. Slide that in there. Maybe make sure you get the strings the same length first. Stick it in there, should come right down. Snap into place. So you can see right there, it snapped in on the string. We'll see if I like this better. I have a feeling I will. Whoop. So something. Oh, look guys, right here, I made a mistake. See right here, I'm stuck on top of the scope. You don't want to do that. If I had this sighted in all the way, that could mess it up. So let's try this again. That is, again, first time user error. Make sure that you're not on the scope. And with these ones, they do get stuck up in there. You gotta kind of push them back out. It's weird, but that's just the way it is. So after you don't make mistakes, it actually cocks pretty easy. And look how narrow that is, guys. That's that's it I'm gonna take a shot here and we'll see how that goes so putting the arrow in I'm still not used to this because of that halo gotta go under that halo guys it's it's not my favorite but I think I'll get used to it and you want to make sure that that knot gets right in there nice and good so I should be all set First shot with the new one. I'm just checking, just checking my strings and cables. Can't say I'm not a little paranoid. Guys, one thing I've noticed here using the rope cocking device, which I do indeed like much better. Just gonna say that it's old familiar. It's what I'm used to. Once you don't hook it across your scope, it works pretty stinking good. But one thing you gotta watch is this safety is very easily pushed forward. And sometimes when you're pushing that sled from the RCD back off of there, it bumps that. And you wanna make sure it stays on safe until you are ready to shoot. Safety guys, safety, safety, safety with stuff like this. Okay guys, load it up. Gonna take another shot here. Hopefully we're about on at this 10 yard range. Put down that handle, I do like that. Guys, now look, here we go. We got a 425 feet per second target. 
and my arrow is gone. It did stop it. <laughs> just, just barely. But I think we're we're pretty dead on for for 10 yards, so we'll back it up to 20. Alright guys, so we're back at about 20 yards now. We did flip that target around. So, I'm still a little off. I'm going to have to do a few more adjustments on the scope. <laughs> this Hurricane 425, guys, it is... Maybe if you have one that shoots three-something, go for it. It was $39 at Meyer. I mean, again, a lot of us, we're, we're, we're trying to hunt as cheap as we can. I bought the Hurricane 425 thinking, hey, the bow's supposed to shoot 410. And let's be honest, it stops it. If you can see that, it barely stops it. So there, there, there wasn't any other arrow that hit that spot and it went through that far. You're gonna destroy the, the fletchings on your arrow if you do that too much. So I might have to consider buying a more expensive target uh, hopefully I can get it sighted in using this one without ruining an arrow. But thankfully, Barnett graciously sent me extra arrows along with the replacement bow. So I have a plethora of arrows right now. So I don't feel too bad about maybe marring up a couple in target practice, but I don't want to do it a ton. So far, guys, the new Hyper Raptor shooting great feels much better, much better. The whole RCD thing, it feels <laughs> it feels natural, I guess, when you've been using that for so long. You just, my advice, if you've always used the RCD, just stick with it. It's, you'll like it better. Just trust me on that. If you've been doing it, keep doing it. It's gonna feel natural. It's gonna feel what you're used to. You're gonna like the bow so much more. So much more, guys. Uh, the whole RCD thing just threw me off. So enough rambling about that. Thank you, Barnett, for all you did to make this right. A lot of companies wouldn't go above and beyond like that. Overnighting me one, I can't believe you did that. Thank you so much. Uh, I have your contact. I can contact you guys personally with any questions. Guys, I even asked them about the sled. Why the, the sled style instead of the old with the two hooks? And Jackie there at Barnett was very gracious, explained it to me, said, you know, with these, when they get tighter like that, they have to use the sled to pull it back because the, the hooks, they won't work. The hooks work on the wider ones, not the narrower ones. Who knew? I didn't. So that was nice to know. And anytime I have a question, I can just shoot her a message and she'll let me know. Thank you, Barnett. Guys, I think, I think this is going to be a great bow. I was a little mad in my last video because it broke. As long as it doesn't do that again, very, very impressed. Everything else is great. I love it. It shoots fast. It's comfortable. I like the scope so much more than my old one. As a matter of fact, like I mentioned earlier, I put the same scope on my old one. Very excited for this hunting season, guys. I'll keep you informed on deer we get. Uh, just go ahead. I don't usually ask you to subscribe, but if you haven't and you like this kind of stuff, let me know by subscribing. Then I know, hey, do more hunting videos, do more crossbow videos. I hope that I can test out some more stuff from Barnett. Like I said, I'm kind of a Barnett guy. I'd love to test out some more of their stuff. Um, I just, I love hunting. I love crossbows. I love the outdoors. And you know, if something goes wrong, make it right. Everyone's happy. It's the way it should be. We'll catch you next time.